In 2012, a senior examiner who worked for the Federal Reserve Bank of New York determined that Goldman Sachs wasn't acting legally. No surprise there. Uh, for those of you who don't know, one of the main things Goldman Sachs, uh, a, a recent scandal with Goldman Sachs back during the uh, Great Recession, was that they would sell to their clients these packages of toxic assets, subprime mortgage uh, packages, right? And they would sell the shit out of them, like, oh, this is awesome. You have no idea. You're going to make a lot of money off this. And then they would turn around and bet against those packages that they just sold as being good because they knew those packages were going to fail. So they made money off the clients and made money off the bets on the packages to fail. Okay, that's fraud. But were there any real substantive uh, investigations, criminal investigations? Were people locked up? Uh, were, uh, was there a real actual crackdown that will disincentivize this action in the future? No, there wasn't. So that's, you know, this is what we're dealing with here with Goldman Sachs. Well, uh, under a Fed mandate, Goldman Sachs was supposed to have, it, it, they were expected to have a company-wide policy to uh, address conflicts of interest that they had, and they didn't do that. They tried to skirt around it by, uh, with, without complying with Dodd-Frank, and they also, I mean, the reason why these things were implemented was to try to prevent another financial crash, to actually do effective regulation. Well, Carmen Segarra, who was actually overlooking Goldman Sachs, found out that they were trying to skirt certain regulations, and she put it all in her report. And before she could actually finish it and uh, formalize her findings, the senior New York Fed official who oversees Goldman Sachs pressured her to change her report. When she refused, she was called into a meeting where her bosses told her they no longer trusted her judgment, her phone was confiscated, and security officers dragged her out of the building. This is just seven months after she was hired. She said, quote, they wanted me to falsify my findings. And when I wouldn't, they fired me. I was just documenting what Goldman was doing. If I was not able to push through something that obvious, the Federal Reserve Bank of New York certainly won't be capable of supervising banks when even more serious issues arise. Now, what is the bottom line here? Carmen Segarra was fired for doing her job. Now, why was she fired for doing her job? Quote, Goldman is known for having close ties with the New York Fed, its primary regulator. The current president of the New York Fed, William Dudley, is a former Goldman partner. One of his New York Fed predecessors, E. Gerald Corrigan, is currently a top executive at Goldman. At the time of Segarra's firing, Stephen Friedman, a former chairman of the New York Fed, was head of the risk committee for Goldman's board of directors. So, Carmen, what you did was you riled up the good old boys club. You know, you made it so harder for them to just wake up in the morning and continue to do illegal actions. And if you break up the good old boys club uh, and you stop them from doing business as usual, well, then you get crushed. Now, if this reminds me of anything, uh, I mean, there's multiple things. One of them, this is exactly what the environment was like, which led up to the Great Recession in the first place. Lax regulations on Wall Street, people bending over backwards to cater to the banks, which are acting in ways that are illegal and are going to crash the economy in the long run, right? This is just like right before the Great Depression in 1929, right before the crash, where it was just anything goes, the banks can do whatever they want, there's no regulation, you're fired if you try to do your job, right? And this is also like, remember what happened with the ratings agencies? All these different rating agencies, which are supposed to give investors idea, an idea of whether or not something is a good investment. There's different grades, right? They, would, they were paid by the industries that they were supposed to be rating. So they would give them money, and then they say, oh, look at that, you got a AAA rating for your toxic assets. In reality, it's not AAA. And by the way, if one ratings agency didn't give them the AAA, they would say, okay, fuck off. And then they go to another ratings agency who they would pay to give them the AAA. It was a giant scam, man. Wall Street was nothing but a casino. It was a casino, and they were gambling with your pension. They were gambling with your money that you put in a, in a bank, in, in a commercial bank, expecting it to be safe, but then the commercial bank turns around and makes... Uh, investment banking type bets, which are, uh, have much more risk and are not sound investments. Carmen Segarra should not only be hired back, 
she should be the head of a regulatory commission. 